Hello, everybody. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening. How is everything going this Thursday? Fine, fine teacher. Argentina lose with oh my Uruguay. Goodness. Very good <laughs> day, teacher. Okay, and did the match finish already? Finish. Uh, in a few minutes, a goal. One goal. The teacher, it's finished. The match, the match. Okay, and it was one zero. Two zero. Two zero. Imagine. That's in, crazy. in Argentina. In Argentina. <laughs> and is crazy. Colombia went to Brazil. Oh Colombia. my goodness. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Colombia. Interesting. Uh, I know that there is still a lot of uh, matches gone, but that is that is interesting. It's going to have possibilities to to other countries. And the interesting thing is that at the end, the final matches they are going to be very important, right? Very important, Peter. Yes. In my and that is crazy. Yeah, I was I was thinking that it was going to be later because I was checking that uh, there in the in the office, but I thought it was going to start around seven, but probably was around five, right? Interesting. <laughs> In my okay, so let's see what happens with Miss Universe. What who do you think is gonna win that? I was checking the girls and I Miss, didn't see Miss, anybody. Miss Honduras teacher. Do you believe Miss Honduras? Miss no, no, I, I don't I don't believe that on Miss Honduras win, but Miss Honduras is very, very beautiful. Mm, okay, I haven't seen her. I saw a picture of some of them, but I don't remember Miss Honduras. I remember that I was checking who was Ecuador, I guess. Ecuador was, was fine. But the rest of the girls, I mean, I don't know, was kind of crazy. And today, is there today uh, something going on? I know that it's like every day uh, going something, right? Like the uh, formal dress and things like that. One. So is today running something? I don't know, teacher. For me, mm -hmm. tomorrow is a formal dress. Ah, tomorrow is a formal dress. Uh, okay. but, I don't, I, but I don't know, teacher. Uh, I I don't know, but in, interesting uh, this week. Okay. So it's tomorrow is and, and the final is on, on Saturday, right? Saturday, yes. Okay. And do you know what time is going to start? At 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. And it's going to finish around 10, I guess. I think, teacher. I think. Okay, interesting. Maybe I'm going to check it because yeah, just because here, right, I, I would like to see what's going on. And let's see what I, uh, I remember. Uh, I saw that a long, long time ago. And I remember it was uh, 10 finalists, finalists, right? 10 finalists and then three finalists. Is that still the way? Yes, teacher, the same the same way. Okay. Very good. Finalists. Three and, ten and then... finalists. Second ah. is five finalists. And third. Ah, okay. And okay. Three finalists. Ah, okay. So it's ten and then five, then three, and then that's it. In the winner. Ah, oh, that's crazy. And uh, what country was the Nicaragua is beautiful. Which one? Miss Nicaragua, El Salvador. Is it okay? Yeah, El Salvador? I know, I know that. Yeah. It's intelligent. Let's... Yeah, that is very yeah. good, right? That's just very smart. And uh, which country is the one that is right now in Miss Universe, the current Miss Universe? Which country is she by now? By any chance, do you know? Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, which country 
is the current Miss Universe from? Uh, I don't know. 84? Uh, no, I mean, no. which country is the, the current uh, Miss Universe, the queen? Is she from Venezuela or is she you know, Colombia? The, the, the one that is right now, the I, Miss I Universe. Don't. I don't, I don't know, know, teacher. But no. Google no, teacher. I was watching some pictures of Miss Nepal. She's very famous, right? Very, very famous. Yeah, because she is overweight. Uh, I mean, not overweight, but she's not like the, the, the other girls that are very thin, right? So do you believe she has the chance to win? Mm, I think I don't I don't believe that Miss Nepal uh, have a chance for okay. winning. Because yes. huh? go ahead. No, because the, the universe is a competition for a in a specific a kind of woman for me, I think. Okay. And also, yes. I'm sorry, go ahead. Represent, represent um, um, yes, represent that the woman. Okay. Who, born. Well, yeah, let's see what happens, right? And, uh, I also was reading that there are two misses that are not miss, right? I, I mean, like Holland. Is that so? That are men, are, are actually not a woman, but men. Uh, I don't know, teacher. Yeah, I was reading something about that one. That I, I remember that they say that Miss Holland is actually a man and also another one, but I don't also, know. Miss Portugal too. Ah, in my Miss Portugal. Uh, that's crazy. And Richard, do you believe the, huh? the, the winner, the 2022 Miss Universe was uh, Miss United States. United States. Ah, okay. United States. Interesting. United States. Yes. And as I remember the the country that has more Miss Universe is Venezuela. Is that is that true? The first, the first finalist. And she was that Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela, Amanda Dudamel. I money. In which country, by any chance, do you know which country is the one that has more uh, Miss Universe in the history? I think that Venezuela for me. Yeah, I, I remember that yes. she... Yes, Venezuela. Venezuela, right. Do you know how many Miss Universes uh, they have? Maybe around 10, in right? In a... Interesting. Also, uh, speaking about this topic, I uh, I was reading that the company that creates... Miss Universe is in bankruptcy. Is that true? I don't know. Do you know anything about that? Um, I don't know, teacher. Um, but um, that you you mentioned is very very interesting. Yeah, in my I mean, I probably they invested a lot of money into this thing. Uh, I don't know. But, to be in bankruptcy, and I, I remember that they bought uh, this uh, this show just uh, a few months ago, right? So it was they are like a new company that they are handling this uh, this thing. But I was reading, I was reading that the company right now uh, is in bankruptcy. So yes, teacher. I, I I read I read something something in the in the social social media Instagram. Yeah, it's crazy. So I don't know what is going to happen. I don't know if, if actually I, I don't understand this because 
the, this competition is very famous and I think that the competition uh, have a, a lot of money. Okay, anyways, uh, let's hope Mr. El Salvador is at, at least one finalist, right? If that, that is true, that would be very, very good. Probably that is going to happen. So let's check the attendance, my friends, and let's see how it goes. And uh, are you moving on with the uh, with the platform? I guess that you are, you finished already unit one unit two and also the midterm test right and also you are doing the unit three exercises i hope you're doing that okay aida isabel lopez bonilla i'm here teacher good ana veronica hernandez rodriguez present good blanca isabel tunaca de rodriguez present good ernesto jose andrade medina Good teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Jose Alfredo Hueso Lopez. Present teacher. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Nice. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Osea Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Nice. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Roger. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Here, teacher. Good. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so we are going to check a video. Uh, this is an interesting one. So check it out and let me know what you understand and your opinion about it. Okay. Here we go. Ahí mi área de los robots, ¿tienes? Wow.
perfect. Okay, what do you think about this video? The the future is now, teacher. Yeah. The, 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 the robotics <laughs> is a new employees for the warehouse company. And I, I remember, teacher, when I was a, a student in the university, I read I read a book named um, The Works End by Jeremy Rifke. And then in, in this book mentioned about the the, um, the other technologies will dispatch uh, the labor force for the globalization. In this, I remember that book. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, I mean, we sometimes believe that the robots are things from the future, right? But it's not true. That is something happening right now. So, and it's very efficient. It's very nice. As we were discussing one day, they don't have to go to the restroom. They don't have to go to lunch. They don't get sick. Interesting, right? Yes, teacher. We need to learn other abilities, other skills. Yes, teacher. But is there are not people primitive robots? They work not move. Is yeah. Okay? That that's yes. yeah. Yeah. People is important in company and everything. Yeah, I believe that that will be uh, what is going to happen in the future. The only thing is that the people that are going to be working there, then they need to know about robotics, about mechanics, about software, uh, specialized in this kind of thing. So it's going to be different, right? It's, it's very amazing. Um, it's, um, I don't believe uh, the 10, 15 years ago, it's a very, very uh, amazing. Uh, the, the operation of uh, industrial robots uh, is, uh, this is full, uh, uh, the use is uh, for uh, uh, sensors and control system. Uh, the function of the sensor, uh, uh, the, the receive the sena signal, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, incredible. Uh, uh, the, how identify a product different, uh, the transportation, the, the control, uh, it's, it's, it's a machine it's, uh, amazing, really. Yeah, it's very good. In mind, they have sensors that they identify if the product is, is fine or not. If the product is not good, they separate out. So it's not only pick and, and put, put away, right? So it's, it's something yes. very, very good, right? So very good, yeah. perfect. I, uh, go I remember teacher... Uh, I use it to play with Lego or robots. Oh, those are very good, the Lego one, yeah. Yes, similar uh, design. In the, yeah. yes, it really, really robots. It's the similar to uh, Avestruz, one robot in the video. Yeah. The, yes, in the balance. Balance perfect. Only two, two uh, tires, ruedas, si tires, dos ruedas. Tires, yeah. Yes, two tires in. Don't fall, don't fall. The robot is uh, intelligent, artificial. Yeah, the designs are very, very interesting, right? So they uh, are able to. Is the uh, Sandra mentions to the robots no, no using in the in every industry, but is necessary in process process the productions, in in different products and for example and delivers and charging charging the containers is necessary. The people that the, the people know no work the 
uh, work heavy. It's yeah. Important. Yeah, there are certain tasks that are kind of difficult, or you need three, four people to do that one. So, uh, depending on the industry, as you say, as you mentioned, um, yeah, I believe that it's a very good investment. These robots are very expensive, of course, and uh, companies they expect them to be working for a long, long time, only give maintenance uh, every week or every month. Uh, but uh, at the long term, uh, of course, it's going to be a very big investment. Very interesting. Thank you for, for compa comparing. Compar yeah. Yeah, there are many things that are very really interesting. So it's important for us to, to check into that one, right? All right, so let's continue with the class. And this is uh, the presentation for tonight. And uh, let's read about Latin America warehouses. So uh, the first two paragraphs, let's see. Ramiro, will you please help me with that? The first two paragraphs only. Yes, teacher. Over the past 18 months, Latin America has been its e-commerce sector grow at record levels. The COVID-19 uh, pandemic prompted uh, over, over 50 million Latin Americans to buy online for the first time. This has caused demand for retail warehousing space to surge across the continent. Brazil is the most dominant market in terms of warehousing, accounting for roughly 15% of total industrial market, market share, followed by Mexico, Colombia, Chile, and Argentina. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. So over the past 18 months, as Latin America has seen its e-commerce sector grow at record levels. So that is because of the pandemic. Uh, before the pandemic existed, the logistics existed, the warehouse, but not uh, that in deep. So now uh, it's, a, uh, it's another thing, right? Because of that one. Uh, it says pandemic prompted over 50 million Latin America to buy online for the first time. So the first question here is prompted. What is to prompt? Prompted. Eh, prometía. No. Mm, no. Something like that, yeah. So it's like um, sugerir, uh, indicar, indica que, something like that. Okay, this has caused demand for retail warehousing space to surge across the continent. Uh, Brazil is the most dominant market in terms of warehousing, counting for roughly, what is roughly? Like uh, approxim approximately. Something like that, very good. Roughly 50% uh, of total industrial market share followed by Mexico, Colombia, Chile, and Argentina, in my So there are countries that they invest a lot of money in this. So let's speak a little bit about Brazil. So the first two paragraphs only. Um, Maria Julia, could you please help me reading the first two paragraphs? Oh. Yes, my teacher uh, is the uh is is it possible for you to read? Uh no, no. Okay, no worries, no problem. Um Ernesto, please help me with the first two paragraphs from Brazil. Teacher, Brazil. Brazil's warehousing sector has been bojan in 2021. Despite the ongoing impact of the COVID-19 crisis, most industrial investment is centered 
uh, in and around Sao Paulo. Infra infrastructure investment is critical to the thriving warehouse Thrive. sector, thriving a warehouse sector to enable rapid distribution. One of Bolsonaro government's goals continue to be the modernizations of Brazil infrastructure with large privatizations and development plans, ranging from airport to highways and port, hey, similar to uh, Bukele government. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true, that is true. So uh, interesting, right? So it says Brazil warehouse sector has been buoyant. Do you know what is buoyant? Buoyant. Comprador. Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, no. That is buoyant. Huh? Buoyant. Ah, okay. Okay, buoyant is como flotante. Flotante. No. No, buoyant. Buoyant. Very good. So, uh, despite, do you remember what is despite? Pesar de. Ah, pesar de. So, despite the ongoing impacts of the COVID-19 crisis, most industrial investment is centered in and around Sao Paulo. So, yes, yeah, Sao Paulo is uh, one of the most important cities for commerce and industry around the world. So, that is a uh, industry. So it says infrastructure investment is critical to the thriving. So do you know what is thriving? No teacher. Thriving. The thrive. Florecer o prosperar. So uh, it's critical. So the investment in that infrastructure is thriving. Uh, or, or is critical to the thriving warehouse sector to enable rapid distribution. So definitely, uh, if the industry is growing, definitely what is going to happen is that we are going to have a lot of warehouses, right? That is very, very important. One of Bolsonaro government's goals continues to be the modernization of Brazil infrastructure with large privatization and development plans ranging from airports to highways and ports. So this is very interesting because when the industry grows and the warehouse, uh, the warehousing also grows, you don't need only the warehouse. You need also very good highways, very good ports, very good airports, very good conditions. So everything in the industry flows properly. So the impact of, in mind, this is the impact of e-commerce. Uh, it's, it's huge, right? It's not only buying. When you buy one product online uh, and everybody were buying products online, uh, we help the economy to move, right? Because it not, it's not only that little product that you buy, it's the whole industry. It's about warehousing, about marketing, about developing new products and creating more employees. So very, very good. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rene Molina, could you please help me with the last two paragraphs? GPL. Mm -hmm. GLP. Okay. GLP is the la largest owner and developer or warehouse in Brazil with more than 60 facilities and various mega projects under development. Mm -hmm. Other big invest investor and developers are also active. Is the market included global players such as Brookfield Pro Prolifis, Prolegis, Goodman, Amazon, and Highness, as well as strong local developers such as HEDC, TRX, LOG, and Resco. Mercado Libre, no, Mercado, yeah. 
Libre. Yeah. <laughs> Latin America. <laughs> Most uh, valuable company has heavily invest in Brazil and is uh, aiming, aiming to close 2021 weight over 10, uh, 100. Warehouses. Yeah. Warehouses. Very good. Perfect. So, uh, well, they say there that GLP, that is a company, is the largest owner and developer of warehouses in Brazil. So, with more than 60 facilities and various mega projects under development. So, they are growing. They are building many things. Other big investors and developers are also active in this market, including global players such as Brookfield, Prologis, Goodman, Amazon, and Heinz, as well as strong local developers such as HSI, TRX, LOG, and Bresco. So, Heinz, for example, that is a company that we have here in El Salvador, right? Uh, they have factories with a lot of warehouses here. So it's a multinational company. And of course, Mercado Libre and other companies, they are growing in that way. But it's very interesting how this is happening. Good. Do you have any questions on this slide? No, for me, not teacher. Okay. Good. Let's continue then with the next one. Mexico, uh -huh. the, the Brazil is a, a big, a big country. It's uh, a big country. My, my, my boss uh, mentioned that uh, he visit, visit Brazil um, in a two or three years ago. And he mentioned uh, the Brazil is the other continent in the American continent. Yeah, it's very rich and it's very, you know, Brazil is very interesting and also it's very complex because we have multi-million people and a lot of poverty. And we have uh, the the uh, Amazon forest. It's amazing. It's very large, uh, but also there are large communities there. So it's, it's interesting. It's very nice. I, I, watch, I watch a movie uh when I was a child, a Brazilian movie, mm -hmm. Ciudad de Dios. Oh, very good movie. Yeah. Very, very good movie. That's the child. In, in his, in, in its movie, uh, watch uh, the, 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 the true, the true life for the poverty Brazilians. So I believe, to be honest with you, I believe that that happens in all the countries. Uh, but it's more in Latin America. In Latin America, the difference is very big uh, because if you go uh, to Colombia, to Ecuador, to many countries, yes, there is a lot of poor people. And also you see buildings and malls and people buying things. I mean... It, 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 the, poor, the poor people live very, very close to the big city. Exactly, that happens. It's... For example, what happens here in El Salvador, that you go to Multiplaza and in front, there are very poor people living there, right? Yes, teacher. So exactly that. Vulnerable community, very, very close. That is Latin America. That, that happens in all Latin America. So it also happens in other countries like England, but it's not that big the difference because sometimes in those countries, uh, the government, they pay, they help you, right? But in Latin America, it's not possible. If you don't work, you don't eat. So that is it, right? Yes, uh, With the movie that Ernesto said, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, Chow de Favelas in Brazil. Yeah. Is, uh, is it, is the it is the concept, uh, the favelas. Yeah, it is the most poor uh, people in the country. Difference in the Europe, 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 and United States, and maybe Chile, Chile, pardon, and Argentina is no, no look so many many difference uh, with the with the structure uh, on the building. Uh, it is many people poor, but it is minus the, the structure that uh, 
let's let you show uh, or let you see let you see uh, the 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 poor. Uh, it's a community that many people is poor, but not this how to favela is very different. But is watching a documentary or uh, movies can see that. Uh, I have a friend in, in, in England and the state uh, pay uh, a salary. I don't remember if uh, 100 uh, euros or, or oh, no, 100 is a uh, mil, no remember now, but. I don't remember is mil euros o quinientos euros que le da el estado. Yeah. And that give house or, or apartment and education, health, and another service, a public service. That is a big difference. That the, the difference that, that we in in America, in Latin America, uh, we was uh, conquered, and United States is colonizing. And the difference, yeah, is that is it, it made a, a big difference for the style, the, the, the lifestyle for us. That is true. It's true. It's very interesting how many things has happened in many countries and uh, how the reality is different because of many reasons. So it's very interesting. And uh, sometimes when we watch documentaries and movies, we are able to, to understand better those things. It's very nice. Okay, so let's speak about Mexico and warehousing Mexico. Um, Roberto Carlos, please help me with the first two paragraphs. Hey, Mexico. With approximate, approximately 80% uh, of Mexican export heading to the United States, uh, it's, it is hoping to Biden administration will strengthen the relationship between these two North American free trade agreement countries. Agreement countries. It's only. And the next piece as well. Okay, the Mexico government recently launched national development with the plane in uh, 2019, uh, 2024, which focus of transportation is infrastructure development. This included a re reimbursement airport system for Mexico City and the development of multimodal car cargo corridor across the isthmus of the Tehuantepec. Okay, <laughs> very good. Thank you. So, uh, yes, also Mexico is a big in industry, a big in economy. Of course, it's very convenient that they are next to the United States, right? So, it says with approximately 80% of Mexican exports heading to the US. It is hoped. What is hoped? Esperada. Very good. It is hoped the Biden administration will strengthen their relationship between these two North American free trade agreement countries. What is free trade agreement? Tratado de libre comercio? No, no, no. Tratado de. LSA. Very good. That is it, the free trade agreement. So the Mexico government recently launched. What is launched? Lanzamiento. Very good. The National Development Plan 2019-2024, which focuses on transportation infrastructure development. This includes a re-envisioned airport system. What's re-envisioned? Oh, 
Okay, envision comes from vision. So re envision is que se re hace de nuevo su visión, mueve su visión, something like that. Re envision. Uh, and the development of a multimodal cargo corridor across the isthmus of the one back. Nice. And the last two, as the last two ones are going to be for Juan Roberto. Okay. Global retailers such as Amazon, Mercado Libre, and Walmart are strong. DHL also has significant plans in this market as they look to modernize their distribution and have a fully electric fleet by the end of 2021. The pandemic has expedited the maturity of the e-commerce in Mexico, but yeah. with only 65% of the total population connected to the internet, there's still plenty of scope of, for this market to grow. Very good, perfect. Interesting, the last part. Global retailers such as Amazon, Mercado Libre, and Walmart are strong. DHL also has significant plans in this market as they look to modernize their distribution and have a fully electric fleet okay. by the end of 2021. Uh, DHL, of course, you know that one, right? That is a uh, yeah. logistics uh, company. And I have a question. What is fleet? It says, and have a fully electric fleet by the end of 2021. What is fleet? For deduction for me is, uh, is more or less the, the cumplir el, el, el estándar de energía eléctrica. No necesariamente eso. Uh, yes, in this case, fleet is como una flota. Good. And the last one says the pandemic has expedited. What is to expedite? Do you know expedite? Eh, como vencido. ¿Que se acabó? Mm, actually, no. Expedite is when something is faster. Uh, I don't know how to say that in Spanish, but expedite, for example, this is what is very common when you place an order. An order, for example, in eBay or Amazon. And there is an option that says expedite shipping. So that means that you are going to, instead of waiting for five year, five days, the product is going to be two days on. So, but you have to pay more for that one, right? So expedite is may something happen faster. So this is the same uh, to pass uh, in the case when I say the, for example, uh, the process is, is expedite. Expedite, uh, yeah. Uh, in español sería como proceso expedito, rápido. Exactly. That would be it. So acelerado. acelerado, very good, something like that. So the pandemic is the one that has expedited the maturity of the e-commerce in Mexico. But with only, in mind this number, 65% of the total population connected to the internet. There's still plenty of scope. What is plenty? Affinidad. Mm. No, infinidad. Ah, infinidad puede ser. Mucho, bastante, abundante. Uh, of scope. What is scope? Alcance. Alcance, very good. Uh, plenty of scope for this market to grow. So this was in, in 2019. So 60% of people, they had access to the internet. The other people, they didn't have access to the internet. So of course, that makes this a little bit difficult. And that's why Brazil is the first one in Latin. Okay. Maturity. Uh -huh. Maturity. Maturity is ma madurez. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any other question? If you want to say that I, I, I am 
maturity is uh, is possible. Yeah, you can say I am mature. Mature. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Mature. Yeah. Very good. So let's go to the other one. That it says Argentina, Chile, and Colombia. The first two paragraphs are for Veronica Elizabeth. Okay, teacher. Argentina, Chile, and Colombia. Only the first, yeah? The first and the second, please. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Argentina is the third largest economy in Latin America, but the logistics and freight market is expected to grow. Puedo ver la otra, me lo tapa la cosa que está aquí. Sí, ahí lo puede mover. No, no problem. Well, that elsewhere in the region, Argentina's government investment in logistics infrastructure have no kept pace with the other major economy in Latin America. Major. Nevertheless, e-commerce e has grown rapidly, boosting investing in warehousing and logistics centers. Buenos Aires based Mercado Libre has grown to be the largest company in Latin America by market value. Very good, perfect. So now we have the other three countries in Latin America that manage more about logistics and well, actually warehousing. So it says Argentina is the third largest economy in Latin America. Uh, this is very interesting because warehousing and industrialization and many other things like infrastructure is uh, how can I say that is linked to the economy of the country. So the first economy in Latin America is Brazil. So of course the warehousing and the infrastructure uh, is the biggest in Latin America. The second one is Mexico, and then we have Argentina. That even with the crisis, because they have a crisis, right? Even with that, they, uh, I mean, the economy is still there. They are producing. They are creating, sending, transportation, delivering, many things. Very good. So, and uh, it said, but there is some fried market. So what is fried? Do you remember? El transportar eh, mercancía. Very good. Uh -huh. So it's like when you send something, delivery, or products or things like that. Is expected to grow at a slower pace than elsewhere in the region. So, yes, they have a very good economy, but the the growing probably is not going to be that fast, right? Elsewhere, what is elsewhere? Como en otro, algo así. En en otra parte. Otra parte. Very good. Uh, Argentinian government investments in logistics infrastructure have not kept pace with the mm -hmm. other major economies in Latin America. So, yes, there is investment, but not that that fast, that much. Nevertheless, do you know what is nevertheless? Mm -hmm. Nunca, no. La mayoría de las personas dice por aquí. Uh, sin embargo, embargo. nevertheless, don't, wa don't want to work uh, for it. Uh, Saying Google Play for nothing. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. But uh, some, some words are uh, kind of similar. So, nevertheless, e commerce has grown rapidly, boosting. Do you remember what is boosting? Boosting. Okay. Impulsar. Impulsar, very good. Boosting investment in warehousing and logistics centers. Buenos Aires based Mercado Libre has grown to be the largest company in Latin America by market value. Interesting, very good. So the last two paragraphs here are going to be for Sandra. Could you help me with that? Yes, teacher. Chile is. Chile is one of the most open economy in the Latin America region. It has boosted its trade to 
alongside Mexico and Peru and eight other countries. Colombia has invested strongly in free trade zones, attracting foreign investment. Like Brazil and Mexico, Colombia also has national plan develop, develop logistic infrastructure. Very good. So yes, Chile is the most open, uh, is one of the most open economies in Latin America region, meaning that they do a lot of business with everybody, many products, so it's very good. Yeah. It has boosted, that is the same word, right? Boosted its trade. What is trade? Trade is marca? Mm. Uh, actually, trade is like comercializar. Com comercio. So, mm -hmm. it has boosted. Uh -huh. It's trade through is membership. What is membership? Como miembro. Membresía. O parte de. Membresía. Very good. Membership of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. So they have also that that advantage, right? That the position that they have is is a very good one. Uh, what is partnership? Do you remember? Patrocinadores. Mm, not. No, like that one. Partners. Una relación? Como un, un, ajá, es como una relación de, de, uh, there is a word for partner. De socio, sociedad. De socios. Ya. Yeah. Camaradería, dice. <ríe> Camarada. <Sí. ríe> okay, yeah, sí, like. Socios. Socios, yeah, yeah very good. Eh, alongside, Pana. what is uh, alongside? Is, is panas, así como dicen panas en Sudamérica. In South America. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. They say that. Yes. Okay. And what is alongside? Long side. Long side. Ay, grande. Quiero ver. Along. No, tiene que ser otra cosa. Alongside. Largo y ancho. No. Aquí dice Saint Google say. <laughs> Lado solitario. Junto a. <laughs> Actually, huh? He, he, I say you that for me, they don't want a word or traduction, uh, no want a traduction, uh, make the traduction good, uh, say Google. Yeah, yeah, it's not that one. Maybe one, one letter is the one that is causing that impact. So, Alonso is junto con. Uh -huh. Junto case, a o junto con. Exacto. Okay. No, uh -huh. no le da las mismas respuestas a Roberto. ¿Qué versión de Google tenés, Roberto? Se supone que es el Google de Google Johnny Walker. El Microsoft Bing. Yeah. Ah, ok. That makes sense. Ah, yeah. es, se supone que este está funcionando con inteligencia artificial. Ah, mm. Yo creo que, que esta inteligencia no está tan inteligente ahora. <laughs> ok. Yeah. No pasó la no pasó la paz. La, yeah. La <laughs> Despedimos. Yes. Yeah. 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 Despidámosla. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's the Google that whenever you ask something, they say uh, you have cancer, cancer of town, cancer, cancer of. <laughs> so yeah, that happens. But that is alongside is junto a junto con Mexico and Peru and eight other countries. And then it says, Colombia has invested strongly in free trade zones, attracting foreign investment. What is foreign? Foranio, no. Foranio, extranjero, very good. Yeah. Hey, esa sin, sin preguntarle a la inteligencia artificial, la adiviné. Nice, that's very good. <laughs> eso, es, eso es conocimiento. Yeah. Yes, yes. I know it. <laughs> Very good, perfect. So, and then it says, like Brazil and Mexico, Colombia also has a national plan to develop logistics infrastructure. In my very good. Do you have any questions here in this slide? Strongly. It's clear, teacher. 
very good. Uh, strongly is fuertemente. Mm, okay, thank you. Good. Perfect. So uh, we were talking here about Latin America warehousing. Okay. So now we're going to do uh, the research part in groups. So what we're going to do is this. I want you to research about companies that provides the service of warehousing here in El Salvador. And if you can check about pricing, uh, how you can get space in those warehousing uh, and what other services they offer. So it's going to be about El Salvador warehousing companies, services that they offer, how you can get space them and pricing, uh, depending on the products or things like that. For El Salvador, uh, do you have any questions about what we are going to do? Use research about El Salvador warehousing teacher. Companies, yeah. Com companies, warehousing companies, and uh, in, in group, uh, research price, uh, get product, different offer. Perfect, that is it. Very nice. So let's see what happens and what did you find. I'm going to create right now the groups and let's see how it goes.
No le escuchamos, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, now, sit, just each other. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. So, uh, let's see what you research about El Salvador, which is Latin America, of course. So, uh, the first group is Ernesto Andrade, Jonathan Ariel, Juan Roberto, and Roberto Carlos. Okay, teacher, can, um, can I share my screen? Of course. Okay, teacher. And with my, with my team, uh, Jose Roberto and Roberto, um, search uh, a one logistic and warehousing company in El Salvador, teacher and, and everyone. Uh, this is a, a mobile, mobile logistic. Mobile logistic have a different service teacher and, and, and everyone. Uh, for example, warehouse storage, warehouse rental, documentary archive, fiscal storage, outdoor storage, temporary custom warehouse, transport, transport service, and add value service. Uh, Jose Roberto and Roberto uh, explained uh, to service more. And in my case, uh, teacher, I explained a little service in the warehouse storage uh, by mobile logistics company in El Salvador. Uh, this, this, um, this company is located uh, more or less kilometers, 35 highway to Santa Ana, Ciudad Arce, La Libertad. And one service is the warehouse storage. And we specialize in the storage of, of dry, dry goods. We store, handle, and distribute raw materials, products, and process finished products, packaging materials for different industries, such as food, mass consumption, cons construction, textiles, service, and other. In addition, our main warehouse has enough dock for loading and all unloading containers or trucks uh, simultaneously. This leads to a more eff efficient operation for our clients. We manage the client's inventory through a bar barcode system and a warehouse management system. Warehouse management system, in which imply easy location and control for the storage of merchandise within the warehouse. Uh, some one advantage, uh, for example, the client concentrates on his primary activity, modern and safe facilities, ample space of main mainboarding and parking, video surveillance cameras uh, all the time, industry areas active in constant development in other advantage uh, teacher and partner. The second the second service uh, combos, players. Jose Roberto mentioned Okay, um, this is this is your turn, Jose Roberto. Go ahead. Uh, Juan Roberto. Right? Juan Roberto, excuse me. Okay, thank you. And now I'm going to talk about warehouse rental. And, uh, and the website says uh, that San Andres International Logistic Park has excellent connectivity to the main access routes to San Salvador, borders, and main cities. The facilities have been designed and built specifically for logistic operations, which implies very high standards for, of efficiency and quality in our warehouses and services. PLISA has 33 blocks with independent warehouses and enough space for expansion. 
and son of and son of Bentash are uh, vigilance the 24 hours of the day and uh, can see and perimeter fence modern and safe facilities lighting system ample space for maneuvering and parking and street control of access and exit to the facilities and uh, now continue roberto okay outdoor storage let me in the in this case uh, can show the or can see that the mobile logistic is very complete very complete company in the case of the outdoor storage in our industrial park we have a specific areas areas for open a, a storage and they also have the most appropriate security condition we can storage machinery equipment equipment vehicles materials and products in general with complete confidence and confidence that our entire operation is a real or within our facilities and under a closed perimeter and with our staff advantage modern and safe facilities amply apply a, a play space for maneuver and parking video sur video surveillance cameras 24 7 perimeter fence lighting system fire 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 hydrants fire system a strict control access and exit to facilities as control a strict control and cleaning and order order is old very okay. good okay roberto uh, the last one picture uh, this is part uh, of the this page when if you want to contact uh, write the name email uh, you write the question here if this is all teacher our presentation very nice very good and uh, uh, you can see that here in Salvador we have very nice contacts this is very good and some vocabulary maneuvering is maneuvering Manu okay. maneuver so that is interesting uh, surveillance and surveillance so many many good things that we can learn about it. thank you very much and next group is jose alfredo monica avalos jose sandra gomez and veronica elizabeth excuse me but the group uh for me only was uh, Sandra and me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sandra, dime su nombre. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, company and Farmacia San Nicolás. Is company local local company during the pandemic and give look me, at for a great give me a minute a we chart something okay 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 um i am talking uh, about pharmacy okay looking for a way to make some strong e-commerce uh the san nicolas pharmacy was one of those that reinvented itself and become a pharmacist that sell its product online and make home delivers. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you see, uh, I don't know. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I see. Okay. Okay, I will I will uh, explain something. Um, this company. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Do the pandemic do the pandemic online commerce increase uh throw throw the world? And El Salvador was not a section, for example, uh, the pharmaceutical company uh, implements the online service and con uh, for now continues to do, do so so that activity. For example, the San Nicolas pharmacies uh is doing the that work online and uh, carry your your medicines up to your house. Sandra? Yes, I reinvented phar pharmacy um, during pandemic um, e-commerce um, because it sells its products online and delivery. Uh, uh, the making, okay. Okay, okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is a very, uh famous uh, company here in El Salvador. Very nice, thank you very much. So the next one are Maria Julia and Blanca. I don't know if you had something. Okay. Okay. Is uh, Aida? Okay. Um, I be alone, teacher. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> um, in, in El Salvador, I different service and the warehouse, um, different concept, the 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 store, for example, um. The common is uh, Mr. Bodeguitas, for example, in San Salvador, and different different uh, city. Um, uh, there is a, a white ride in the of the storage service for a need from renting a small spa space or <laughs> or bar or by metal square office space for the storage and document ma management. For example, uh, 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 in Mr. Bodeguita, ¿verdad? with competitive price from the, 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 the 16 for the $15 per, 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 per one meter, the space uh, is, is quite, uh, Per document filing box uh, to 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 point uh, seven 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 five per month for box include security uh, cameras insurance police etc. This is a uh, one concept, the storage. Other concept storage or warehouse is in in Harbor to Acajutla, for example, uh, um, uh, Almacenadora del Pacifico or Almapac, for example, is, is offer a storage service for bulk, the product, for export and import in has the automatic infrastructure to load the product from the warehouse to the cheap containers, mining for storage on or handling or of large quantities, bulk sugar, corn, flour, but is also has warehouse for storing fertilizers, etc. etc. is a concept the the storage, uh, the bulk product. Uh, this is my presentation. Very good, perfect. Thank you, my. It was very, very nice. Thank you. And the last group is Mauricio Rivera, Ramiro, and Rene Molina. Let's see how it goes.
You look my screen? Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the El Salvador, how many many warehouse uh, area for indus uh, an industrial building for sale or for rent? Uh, the, the advantage of the El Salvador is key is a locality in the heart of the Las Americas. Uh, have a many many areas for the uh, for the this use uh working international many international companies uh, e, uh, to take advantage of strategic access to markets in the USA uh, Canada Mexico and the Central uh, and the South America uh, this is uh, uh, have many uh, industrial free zone this uh, this is have many uh, benefits uh, like uh, ease of the access locating only uh, 50, uh, 50 minutes for the international airport or the capital the city capital uh, uh, for uh, flexible and operation uh, areas uh, I am a variety uh, service of the uh, shipment, uh, like uh, Acajutla port uh, is uh, we central in uh, one uh, one company is this uh, Almatac uh, Almapac excuse me uh, with my uh, classmate uh, Rene is talking about. Okay. Okay, Amapac is the grain storage warehouse port utility. Uh, improves in improvise its service to different grains importers who are uh, delicate to the transportation of grains into raw material to manufacturing concentral animal feed. They they are qualification as a public custom warehouse. Very good. And allows all to function as a physical person. Almapac is a key logistic support of importers and exporters that using the port of Acajutla in the transfer of their Merchandise, I'm a pack, a uh, my trained leadership and national storage warehousing plant. It's a, it's a, uh, the page official in life. In, in my company's client for the Alma pack, you look the different ship and the shipment is the buy to grains in the Brazil and the United States, soya beans and and in uh, grains and yellow corn. Excuse me, it's yellow corn. So let's see how it is. Is it the pinch in life? Okay. So I guess those are uh, open because it's still in progress. So whenever that finishes, it says completed. Yes. Is the, the finish? Don't, don't look in the list. Okay. Uh -huh. My transactions. Is it the page official? Page official. And since you are uh, a client of this uh, logistics company, uh, what is your experience with them? I mean, are they uh, fast? Uh, you can trust them. Everything works very well with them. 
Yes, it's the it's the a good company for the administration for the warehouse. Is the certification ISO is a key and is the public and and ISO nine mm -hmm. It responds to the problems system. Is the difference rest uh, difference um moved and and history history uh, movement is the shipment Is look the uh, and you can thousand. okay uh, and you can track uh the the ships live. I mean, you know where is it exactly? Yes, a different ship. Mm -hmm. Very yes. good. Interesting. Yes, it's many ships. And different clients is the uh, six, uh, 12, 12 clients in the one shipment. Shipment. In the, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Eh, 500 mil toneladas. Uh, 500,000 tons, I guess. It, yeah, I guess something like that. <laughs> yes. A lot, right? I, yes, that is crazy. The, the, the ship, uh, look the 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 ship is how yeah in the sail is the uh, more is a big is a big uh, shipment. Okay, very good. Yes, yeah, it's very nice. It's, it's very good. It's a, a our presentation. Yes, Perfect. And, one million, one million toneladas metricas. In hey, my, that is crazy. Yes, this is the information for the, uh, uh, aquí están, 52,500 barcos atendimos. Hey, Un barco con 50,000 toneladas de azúcar. In hey, my. Yes, un that record is... histórico. That is crazy. It's very good. And we have very nice companies in several. That is very nice. Yes. It's the plus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And it was very, very interesting. So, uh, of course, these uh, these things on logistics are very expensive, but they are experts, right? So that is uh, the difference between uh, this and any other companies. Good, good. It was a very nice class. So. Uh, let's check the attendance, and then let's go to bed. So, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher, but uh, I had some trouble with my computer. I'm no sorry. Problem. That's fine. Okay, uh, Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodriguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present teacher. Present, present, present. Okay, okay. Present teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Good. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. 
Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Good. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dream English. Have a nice night, teacher, and partners. Yeah, so do you. Salud. Cheers. 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 <laughs> 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 Say good night, everybody, compañeros. Good night. Good night. Hello, Jonathan. Hello.